welcome to the part 2 of my 3D printed electrical Supra project. So in the part 1 we assembled everything and took it out for a test drive but we had a problem with the small servo that changed the gear and here I have this one and it's a metal gear. We're gonna put this one on and also put all the panels on and I have at least for all the bolts and screws you will need. So it will be easier for you guys to know which screw goes to where. If you guys want to check out how I did the hood latch and trunk latch, the video will be here if you want to check it out. But here we have all the parts, we're gonna put it on and then take it out for a test drive again. I also added trunk brake light, so I printed in clear PETG and it came out really good. So we're gonna put them on, but for now I don't have lights, so maybe in the future I will put light kit and also sound system. So what do you guys think about sound system? Some of you against it, but some of you find it really cool. And I have some spots under the dashboard so we can hide the sound system under this. But let me guys know. And I'm also thinking to turn one of them into air inlet, which it will be from this side. But we're gonna be losing the highlight beam. But it will be cool, I'm sure. So the filter will be removed and there will be one pipe, it will be connected to the headlight. But that's just my idea and I will leave it for you guys, should we do it like this or not. We're gonna start with the servo and then I will show you how to put all these panels on. So I tried to keep panels part just like the gas version, for example this is for the back of the gas door. So if you turn it to the gas version, you're not gonna replace this and also the exhaust, it will be the same. For the core panel glass, I use this silver, which I think it looks very cool than if it will be clear glass. But for now, I'm not gonna put the windshield and the trunk glass. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Think about PCBWay as all-in-one platform for CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. If you are working on a custom design like me, and you wanna have highest 3D print quality, this is the way to go. You just have to upload the STL file here, choose the material, and it will tell you the price and shipping days. PCBWay is linked in the video description box below for more information. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video.
we are back how's the car driving it drives very nice and it's very stable but i couldn't go past that second gear with the second gear i went to half throttle and even not half it was quarter throttle i couldn't go more than that because i couldn't stop it we have a rear wheel drive only and with braking we have only brake over there and not in the front so when i was braking and it was nosing down but it wasn't getting to the stopping position right away so that's why i was scared to crash it because we have so many things to do with this car until i announce the final file for now i have to do more testing even the files are done now but still i'm gonna keep it like this for now so we can know what kind of problems we will have in the future but it drives very nice and it's very stable the sway bar is working very good it was very stable even in the turns but i had a footage i felt that i hit a bump but it was a small rock and it bounced that wheel very good and it was very realistic i didn't know that until i slowed down the footage and i'm happy we have that footage so on the road i was worried about the vibration and not popping the hood or a trunk but it was very good and also i check all the bolts and we have all the bolts and i don't have any missing bolt so that's a good thing and yeah that's how it looks for now so when i put the camera i'm happy i made the seat adjustable so i had to pull the seat back and put the camera here and it gave me a very realistic look and i'm thinking to put a dummy here so it can hold the steering wheel and it will be very realistic because my steering is working so what do you guys think about this idea all the files and hardwares i use will be in the video description box below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now